Yeah, good morning again. I'm Jim Chamley, and I'd like to take you back to 1956, and I was just a young teenager. Yes, I was young once, uh, but uh, that's when I first met Carol Johnstone through the White Earth Valley Saddle Club. We held our first rodeo there in 57. I think it was a year later, 58, uh, that uh, Carol's Uncle Ben had the rodeo stock, and he had it there for many years. But uh, Carol and Jim and uh, Ted Johnstone were three nep uh, nephews of Ben's, and he raised them, and they were all good hands. But uh, when you go back to the mid-50s, the early 60s, these guys have been, Carol's been gone for a while, and there's a lot, a lot of people that remember them or what they did. But I can guarantee you that Carol Johnstone, when he entered a rodeo, was darn sure one of them to beat, and especially in the, or one of them that you had to beat, uh, in the, especially in the bareback riding. But as a kid, I really looked up to Carol. He was one of them that uh, he took time. My, my brother and I were just starting to get on a few horses. And uh, actually, them guys, I don't know, uh, Uncle Ben and them boys, they give my brother and I our first bareback rigging. But uh, he was sure a good, good guy and a good hand. And uh, I'm just honored to be able to tell you a few things like that about him. But he's one of them. He won two NDRA championships. You don't just do that uh, unless you're a hand. And uh, he darn sure he, uh, deserves to be in the Cowboy Hall of Fame. Thank you. I'm Harry Olson, a trustee from District 2. I was fortunate enough to get to know the Johnstone family, and I traveled with those guys rodeo on right after Carol won them state championships. Just, just a little closer. And there wasn't anybody that I remember could spur horses harder than Carol. And he rode the rank ones. I remember in 1961, I looked at Monica Hovden's record book. 1961, he rode Bearden, FedEx Bearden. That's something a lot of people didn't do at Minot Indoor Rodeo. Only bad thing about it, he missed him out. And in, in the meantime, he got to picking up for Carol, or for Ben, oh, here's Uncle Ben, him and Joe Berger, the Watford City Joe Berger, not the Man Dan one, but they picked up a lot of Ben's rodeos. And Carol kept telling Ben this one in Roan Bucking Horse, he really liked him, you know, he thought maybe in Carol, or Ben, Carol just kept telling Ben that. Finally, I think Ben just to get Carol out of his hair, he said, uh, I'll just give you that horse after the rodeo. We're going to trail these horses over to Blaisdell, which is only, I don't know, 30 miles or whatever. So Carol, right about the time he got ready, to, they sorted that roan horse off, run him in the chute and saddled him up. And they made about two loops around the arena and let the horses out, and he trailed that, rode that bucking horse, trailed them horses to Blaisdell. And Jim told me on another deal, and he's picking up, Ben somehow had gathered up some prospects in that, at White Earth, and he put these two buckskin horses in the draw. Well, they didn't buck very good, and Carol evidently did a little research, a little back, back pen deal. And the next day after that he'd been this one big buckskin been in the draw, Carol was picking up on him the next day at White Earth. And, and when you traveled with Carol, you always had to have a little coffee, and this deal would have fit right good with him. Could have had some coffee here before we started. And, Everything and another deal about the picking up I got to tell you about is uh, early in the spring. Uh, I think uh, Glenn Allen was FedEx had the rodeo, and Jim Jones, an all-around cowboy from Colorado, had been the first time he'd ever been up in this country. He rode Bronx and rope calves, and man, the horse had bucked, horses really bucked, and the pickup horses were fresh. And that following week, we was over at uh, Hudson, Wisconsin. We pulled into Hudson and we'll go up the rodeo office and hear Jim Jones. He had a big gathering of people sitting around there listening. He said, man, he said, 
we, I was up in North Dakota, never been up there. He said, man, the horses have bucked. He said, and you'll never believe it, he said, the pickup men were riding association saddles, and they needed them too, he said. And that was Carol was one of the pickup men. But it, it, traveling with Carol was a good, probably as good a thing that ever happened to me. And knew him, and he sure and deserves to be inducted, I think, in the Hall of Fame. And if Carol was here, we'd probably have a cup of coffee. <laughs>